I didn't think it was a big deal, Tom, all right? So I gave him the key. Matter of fact, I want him to keep the key because in case any emergencies happen or whatever, you should always leave a key with one of your closest That's friends. That's what he told me that, Tom. He told me that my key is, it's great that you have this anyway because it makes sense for you to have it. It was funny because what I'm trying to say, I'm trying to give you an eyeball saying like, yo, I'm, I, I, you threw me under the bus. I had no idea what was going on. I tried to adapt to the situation. You guys planned okay. this? What's the big deal? Yeah, he there's brought no you plan. was quick. He told, he told me. There's no plan for, here. Hold it, Tom. No, I mean, I had it. No. I told Joe after your shenanigan last time that you did with messing up the house and everything, I told Joe, I said, because Joe said, you know, I owe Tom ribs. And I was like, oh, that'd be a great way to get you over to the house when Tom's home. So I gave him the key. So, so you did send him the check up on me. No, no, it was not. It was the really for the ribs and maybe you just said the, you just said the ribs were an excuse. You no, you can't back up from that now. Whoa, you can't back up, whoa, which whoa, also means that man. you lied to me at least once now. Hold on, wait. First of all, you're very aggressive here. You, and Why do you think? I don't know. You're shaking your head, dude. All I'm saying to you is, you know, you had he didn't have to come over to check up on you. This is you were kind of you you, you set up the whole party and whatnot. He had all this stuff going yeah. on, and you tried to prank him with that, so this is kind of an endless way for him to prank you. While well, I brought you over ribs, I came over unannounced, kind of get you all riled up, get yeah. you all well, like... Well, congratulations, it worked, I guess. Well, what's the difference? What like, I, gave, I gave Aunt Terry and Uncle Jeff, they have the key to the house, so they can come over here anytime they're, too. They're very close family. That, that oh. hardly counts. Wow. I, mean, I mean, that is kind of tough. Let's think about what you just said. I feel like I'm a very close friend of the family. Yeah. Joe, you are a very close friend of the family, I but they're also Joe, a very close family. So, Joe says he was right. so on, I, I'd on, expect it for on. them. Hold on. Very close family's right here, right? Yeah. Very close friend of the family's right here. Very close friend of the Henry, uh, family that brings over ribs. Sorry, that brings over ribs? Yeah. I feel like pretty yeah, even yeah, down, pretty, dude. Pretty even, yeah. Like, I feel like you were upset, but you should have calmed down right away when I brought the ribs. So, what's your problem? Is the problem the. Is the problem that he just came in here? Well, now the problem is that you lied to me. Well, we didn't hear lie. Hold on, hold on. You lied to him with the whole you had a yeah. party thing. Yeah. So what? That's a setup for a prank. Tom. This is a prank. What? Well, yeah. Well, and what's the difference? Like, I can give a key to whoever I want to, and I gave him a key to the house. Yeah, because. But when you're not even the one, you, you, the least you could do is tell me. Tom. I didn't know he's gonna be here. How am I? Why would Why would he tell you? Whose house is this? Is it yours or is it his? That's a good point, Joe. And that's the thing. Is like I can give a key to whoever I want. I can ask them to come over and check in the house and everything else. This is not your house. This is my house. But you're treating me like I'm 10 years old. I don't, I don't know. I think no, we're I don't focusing think. on the wrong He's thing. sending people to go check up on me for random times during the week while I'm staying home alone. He absolutely did not send you over here or send me over here to check up on you. It sounds a whole lot like he did. That's why it's a prank, Tom. I didn't, what do you understand? He sent me over here on purpose because of what you do with the whole party setup. He sent me over here to get you going. But I, I, I told him. I did that as an example of like, oh yeah, look, this is how irresponsible I could be. But I'm not actually that irresponsible. No, no. You're being all defensive here for no reason. Yeah. He sent me over. I said, hey, I owe him some ribs. Maybe I should surprise him. He said, you know it would be very funny? Did you even actually text me? No. You didn't. You didn't would I actually text, text me. I should have texted you while, in hindsight. Wow. In hindsight, I thought about that night. I should have texted him when he wasn't, when he wasn't paying yeah, attention. Yeah, you remember the hypothetical I was saying? I'm like, oh, it just came. It just came through. Yeah. That's typical. Yeah, Joe, listen. The, go back to the hypothetical thing. Suppose you came around the corner. I didn't know that you were there. I heard somebody walking. I swung with a bat. Suppose Tom. that happened. Tom. Suppose that happened. Why would, why would you do that? Yeah, because I don't know somebody's in the house with me. I hear them coming around the corner. Okay, I have to defend myself. Tom, hold on, dude. Like, if I come into your house, right, by the time you realize I'm here, like, you think I was wrong? I didn't know I it was you. On, it doesn't matter. When you came here in the corner, you would. How would you not know it's me? Suppose you were coming. Hold on, hold on. Suppose you were coming back that way. You tell me this way. You don't know it's me. Yeah, Tom. Pretty easy. If, if, I'm, if I'm around that corner, I don't know who's here. You walk up. I, I hear somebody coming. It's like, oh god, they're right there. I have to swing to make sure that I can defend myself I and I don't get be, jumped. I wouldn't put my. I knew what I was doing. I wouldn't put myself in that situation. Yeah. I went in the fridge. I made. Suppose noise. you didn't though. Tom, I came in the back door, and you have no idea. I came in the back door, went right here, and started making noise in the fridge. So I was safe. We, yeah. we, I the mean, back door was locked. I had. He gave me the key to the back door. The back door was still locked after you got. Did you lock it after you came in and then yes. locked the front door? That doesn't I, make any sense. I didn't go out. The, I went out the front door. It doesn't make sense. They, we were silent coming. The reason that's why you didn't hear me. 
<laughs> what? It was all set up. First of all, you gotta relax, man. Settle down. Take a couple deep breaths, right? Okay, listen. There's a thing like when you prank somebody and then you get pranked back. Where you just gotta sit there and say, All right. Hey, you got you me. Got you got ribs? got me good. This was not the same sort of situation, though. I think it was well, exactly the same. Well, I don't think it is. <laughs> and here's the thing. So you got it did, yeah, it did carry over a little bit more <laughs> than most do, right? But you got ribs, you got dude. Ribs. Really you got good ribs. ribs. Tom, they were really good ribs. I tried They were them. good ribs. Tom, and that's, you know, you and Larry, I only have one of them. Yeah, that's yeah, the rest of them. Because you owed me those friends. I, no, Tom, I get it, but that's the whole point of it. Yeah, like, and, and Tom, here's the thing. If I wasn't pregnant, I would have at least When he came more. over, was it dark in the house? Was the house all completely dark? Nope, but it was right. close. Right, so what is the, that's what I'm saying. It's like, I could see if he snuck in at nighttime when it was all dark and everything, that you know, you're know you bringing up this bat thing where you're going to hit well, him in the head. He was the I'm here, where is he coming from? Hey, by the time he gets to me, there's no way you're that yeah, quick to get there to here before you don't know who I am. Yeah. And if, like, by the time you got That's, to me to here, I can at least move. That wasn't the point of the hypothetical. Yeah. The point of the hypothetical is if you were oh, all the way over oh, there. Oh, there. Oh, oh, Joe, what are you doing? Oh, oh, my God. Give me a favor. Get over there for me. <laughs> right? And just start running towards me with the belly you have a bat on. Hey, it's me! Oh! <laughs> oh, Joe, it's you? Right. <laughs> That's what we're saying, Tom. I get why you were worried. No, I was hey, look, saying. You should have sent me a text. Hold on, hold on. I'm not downplaying the fact that when you saw me, when you first heard me come in, you were nervous. I get what you're saying, but that's the whole point of the prank. Yeah. But in all honesty, it was innocent compared to what. Yeah, it is. It, a prank could be. You got ribs out of the whole thing. You were, you were worried for a few seconds, and a little irritated, and then we were fine. We did a whole chill in the ground video. You think it was my idea to do a chill in the ground video? Of course it wasn't. It was his. He said, hey, let's turn into a video. Why not? So, so I think everything worked out fine. You get a little bit too... Yeah, why not, up. man? Because I feel like I'm not getting listened to at all. Well, right now you're not making any sense of why yeah. I'm How am I not... <laughs> sorry, I didn't mean that. I'm going to blow gas. Yeah, I feel like you were running that out. I'm sorry. It's a regret what I just said. Tom, you make a big deal out of something Okay, I understand, you know, you, you feel like he should have got a hold of you first, whatever, but he didn't. Because it was a prank. It was a prank. Now you got to just let it go and sit there and say, good one. Good one. See, yeah. the thing is, though, is that if, when I came out to talk to you and you were like, because you were all like, oh, I, that's weird. I, I thought he gave back the key. Oh, oh look at you, dude. <laughs> he said, hey, here comes the bus. <laughs> Basically... Oh, Joe did what? <laughs> how dare it? King He's not going to admit it right away, dude. Yeah, yeah tell how we go. We let things go as long as But the thing already happened. What's the point of letting it go on? I thought that there was something weird. I don't know. Something weird. I, what? I, I, I know obviously, it's me. Yeah. Obviously, I'm not I'm not fan we do. A few things we learned tonight. Yeah. Hold <laughs> on. Yeah, if it was weird, you still didn't have a problem eating his ribs, though. Yeah, like, like if because if, once I knew it was you, and it was then it was like okay, everything's cool now. But in the time, in the moment when it happened, it was a big deal. Yeah, but like it, it wouldn't be a big deal if it was like if like yeah. somebody else, like like who else would be here? It's a big deal. Who else would have came here? That's if the, the point. Here, it'd be weird, right? Yeah. This is in California. If you guys here, it'd be weird, right? Just sitting in your fridge. Like I come here every week. I see you all the time. Yeah. I'm not just that's the little. point, though. It is, though. What is no? What do you mean? That's the point. It's like the point. is that who would be here? Exactly, who would be here? Well, why would you be so worried? If it, once you realize it, me, you should have come. That, look, that's, right that, that's not even the focus anymore. The, mm. This whole you gave him the key, you didn't tell me thing. What, why do I have to tell you everything that I do? Because all the time? I also live here. Oh, I'm sending somebody over, by the way, and. Let a little heads up is nice. I know it was a prank. Still. And at least come clean with it right away. No. I mean, I get him on that. He could have came clean right away. I know. Like, you obviously got him. Like, we had a up. whole conversation about this, and he was... I thought he was on my side about it. Tell him, I hear what you're saying. <laughs> turn, turn it right around. I mean, like, he could have, at that point, he had brought up, like, hey, man, we were messing with you. I gave him the key. And you'd be like, oh, cool. Right. Well, at least I, I, I got ribs. I uh, you probably, don't get any. I still probably got a little bit mad, but I wouldn't be this livid about it. Yeah, you are livid. You really need to be less livid. Uh, I'm sorry I let it go on so long. I should have I should have nipped it right in the butt, right or the bud, right. Butt. It's a butt. It's nipping the butt, the butt yeah. not the butt. Yeah, you <laughs> should have. Butt, butt, butt. Work it. Work it. I'm sorry, Tom. I all right. 
Oh, why did he apologize? Did he apologize for setting all the stuff up around the house? Yes. Did you? Oh, yes. Wow. Why are you yelling at that part? Because <laughs> I feel like I got it in order to get my point across. Otherwise, you guys are just going to be like, oh, no, he totally didn't. And then go off on your own tangent. <laughs> You might have to go on blood pressure medicine or something because it's you're like you're your next yeah. friend, dude. Yeah, it's like I'm really like mad. You're all worked. <laughs> yeah, you need to settle down. I wonder why. Yo, you know they have these things now. Like they're chewables. Really? Yeah, like gummies. Ooh, sound delicious. Cheech and Chong make them. Oh yeah, they probably help you out. Who? I think they're called cruising or something like that. Yeah, yeah. it's a little, little gummy ed edible. Yeah, yeah. Uh, calm you down. Yeah, I'm not. I Tom, yeah, you obviously. No. Forget it. Forget it. Just forget it. <laughs> okay. Larry, it's still on. Is it?